Want to make an interactive, eye-catching website in Gutenberg? Let's try Gutenkit's motion effects to design stunning web pages. First, choose the section or block where you want to add motion effects. Head over to the Advanced tab and click on Motion Effects. To add a scrolling effect, make sure to turn on the option. Then, for vertical scrolling, simply set the direction to either up or down and adjust the scrolling speed to your preference. You can also adjust viewport properties to set when the scroll will start when the user scrolls in or out of the viewport. Similarly, to add a horizontal scrolling effect, you got to set the direction to left or right, adjust the scrolling effect, and viewport properties. Here is what the vertical and horizontal scrolling effects look like on your web page. Next, let's add a transparency scrolling effect. Choose either the fade in or fade out style, then use the amount control to set the level of transparency. Don't forget to adjust the viewport properties to fine tune the effect. Once the effect is applied, the section will smoothly transition from transparent to visible or vice versa as the user scrolls. In the same way, you can add a blur effect where the page elements will go from blurred to visible or the other way around. Then set the effects, blur amount, and viewport properties to control how and when the effect happens. Here's what the blur effect looks like on scroll. To rotate a page section or element, just enable the Rotate Scroll effect. Set the rotation direction, speed, and viewport properties to achieve the desired look. After that, you can scale up or scale down as they scroll into view by adjusting the scale properties. Moving on from the scrolling effects, it's time to explore Gutenkit's mouse tilt feature within Motion Effects. To get started, select any section, head over to the Advanced tab, find Motion Effects, and enable the mouse tilt effect. Once it's enabled, adjust the rotation angle with max rotation control. Then adjust the speed of the mouse tilt. After that, Set the starting point of the tilt for box x-axis and y-axis. With the scale control, you can scale up the section or element when the user hovers over it. By enabling the glare, you can add an overlay effect with mouse tilt. Another cool feature is the mouse track effect, which allows you to move elements based on the mouse's movement. You can even choose the direction. Opposite makes the element move in the opposite direction of the cursor, while direct moves it in the same direction. To take things up a notch, you can apply entrance animations that trigger the moment a user lands on the page. Pick from a variety of animation styles, and then fine tune it by adjusting the speed, setting a delay for dramatic effect, and controlling the animation's direction. Want to keep the motion going? Just toggle the loop animation to create a seamless, continuous flow that keeps your visitors engaged. With these motion effects, you now have the tools to create dynamic, engaging experiences for your visitors. Install Gutenkit and build your dream website with ease. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.